In this video, I'll be talking about the holonomic drivetrain and how to build and code it. Holonomic drivetrains are also referred to as X drives. They also are omnidirectional drives, which means that they can move in any direction. In order to move straight, the motors that are opposite from each other on the drivetrain should turn. One of the motors has to turn clockwise, and the other has to turn counterclockwise to move the drivetrain in a straight line. To move diagonally, both pairs of motors should spin. To rotate in place, all of the motors should spin in the same direction. We're first going to start off by building one of the subsystems. You will need to attach the U-bracket to the plate. Then you'll have to screw on the go build a motor, which has four threaded holes. Attach the motor shaft hub to the motor. These are the pieces you'll need to attach the wheels. You'll need to put four screws through the wheel and the spacer. Make sure the screws are going through the non-threaded holes of the spacer. Next, you'll want to add another omni wheel. Finally, you'll need to screw in the screws to the motor shaft hub. This should be the final product for one of the subsystems. After you've created your four subsystems, you want to attach them to a plate. Make sure that the four subsystems are equidistant from each other. This is the final product, with the battery, rev hub, phone, and wires attached. This is the code to move the drivetrain in a straight line. We have a variable that is called Y power. It is set to a number between negative 1 and 1 based on the movement of the left joystick. We are going to set the power of a pair of motors to the variable Y power. One of the motors in the pair should have negative Y power because we want one motor to move clockwise and the other to move counterclockwise. This is the code to move the drivetrain diagonally. To do so, both pairs of motors need to spin. We are getting the other pair of motors to work by setting the power to the variable x power. This is the code to rotate the drivetrain. Rotation is going to be controlled by the X values of the right joystick. All of the motors should be spinning in the same direction, so we are setting all the motors to rotate. The code is combining all of the previous code. We are creating four variables for each of the motors. Each of the variables is equal to the combination of the x power, y power, and rotate power. Now, there may be an issue, because the power may be greater than 1 or less than negative 1. Remember that the power values can only be between negative 1 and 1. To resolve this issue, we are using an if statement to check if the absolute value of the power is greater than 1. If the if statement is entered, a function is called which returns the highest value between all of the power variables. Each of the power variables is divided by the max value to scale the variables down to be between the 1 and negative 1 power range. Finally, each of the motors is set to the corresponding power values. 